Turn me up, don't turn me down. You already know what it is, man. You're watching Nolazine TV. This is Daniel Hollis. This episode is brought to you by the Loyalty Club, one of the hottest brands out where they keep their items limited and only for the loyal few. Check us out online at theloyaltyclub.us or if you're in the New Orleans area, you can check us out at our flagship store, 841 Fulton Street. You already know what time it is. Only for the loyal few club time. Okay, so for all the people in your comments talking about he making bounce music now and all this, and he ain't <laughs> that what they no say? He ain't got no balls. That what they you know? say? And they saying all kind of stuff. They say, man, if you gonna be a boss <laughs> rapper now because you ain't making it as a rapper. Nah, so you gotta go hard, man. They ain't so, saying that. <laughs> they ain't they saying that. Me. One of the best lyricists to ever do this shit. But One I could give him some buzz. That's buzz. what you want? Yeah, it's time to show the people. Look, I tell them all about a check and I ain't talking about no stimulus. We ain't playing mad, nigga know that I send a blitz. Looking like I hit a lick, I know how to get a bitch. Well, fuck with you, but I know that shit a hit or miss. Trust issues never go away, who understand that? I weathered the storm like a sandbag, trending in my city like a hashtag. I got niggas mad mad, make my young boy dump that Draco like a trash bag. Nigga hit my cousin in the head, I had to let it go. Like a motherfucking whistle, want to let it blow. I ain't gotta hide the pain, it already showed. Like a motherfucking pound was trying to send that smoke. I told her, why you only call me when it's pay time? I told her, if I fuck you once, you gon' want stay mine. Yeah, this the danger zone, it ain't the safe side. One thing you never see a real nigga, fake vibes. Yeah. Gotcha. Don't yeah. turn me down. So, you know, you were one of the first rappers, you know, down here, really yeah. like making songs to the girls. Real talk. And so you, you know where that come from? Where that come from? Studying Jaru. Like, you know, them I'm shots and collabs. I'm glad you said Jaru, you know, we got 50 shit somewhere on that wall. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don't you shit. think it was kind of crazy that, that 50 shit hit on Jaru and started doing Ooh. the same exact thing? Man, that shit crazy, but it, I, see, I see it happens, you heard me? I mean, because 50 shit was hard too, 21 questions, you know? But like, he had to, you know, he had to knock Jaru out the way. Man, <laughs> life. <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, you know, it's just that whole generation, you know, had a lot going on, you know. Real tough, though. But yeah. I, I definitely studied the game, though. Studied the game? I studied the game, for sure. That's what you studied about P. Diddy. <laughs> <laughs> Lord! I ain't studied nothing about it. Ain't no baby all in my, uh, yeah. Ain't no uh -huh. baby all in your... Yeah, you hear me? But that's, you know. Hey, so, like, do you think if did it really had all the baby all bottles? <laughs> Man, I, don't, I can't speak on did it, you hear me? You gotta watch what you see, you hear me? Yeah, well, Words powerful, it. come back to haunt you. <laughs> but did it gonna be your dreams? Like Freddy Cougar. I can't speak the on the <laughs> The diddler. I can't speak on, I can't speak on did it, you hear me? <laughs> well, you know I what? I can't speak on did it. Just to close that out, you know? I just think it's kind of crazy that, you know, every time it's like a black dude, uh -huh. the, the media just attack him. Fucking like, right. they don't do it. To them other people, they always do it to like a black man. Like, you know, Harvey Weinstein, all of them had the same type mm -hmm. of things going on, but like the media didn't blast them. If R. Kelly, you know, you know, Bill Cosby and Diddy, they tearing them hey, up. But like Pac said, white man raw, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You go back, you know, all this shit been going on, you know what I'm saying? It's the Willie List. So, and that don't go for, you know, all people, uh, you know, nothing like that, but you know, I ain't never heard of black privilege. You know what I'm saying? So we just being real about shit right now. So and you know, what you do? You know, you've been you've been rapping for a while now. I like in New Orleans as well. Like, do you feel like New Orleans music scene has actually grown? Fucking right. I was really born into this shit, you hear me? I love this shit. But the music scene definitely grown. I see a lot of a lot of progress. You know what I'm saying? I love to see people fucking working together, unity, you know what I'm saying? Like, I love that shit. And nobody owe nobody nothing but just the genuineness. And, right. You and know? But, but actually, when I saw your boy video, I'm a wildlife, but I saw you know, it had like yeah. two rappers in there. I'm like, you know, it reminded me of wildlife. Yeah, but it reminded me back in the day, you know how people used to like, you know, they like make cameos, people video. Fucking and right. Because you don't see like a lot of support down here. Fucking right. That video was fun too, man. That that song actually, like, that's what really sparked everything. You heard me, the wildlife. You know what I'm saying? With that sick of being lonely. That's a vibe that's just going to forever be timeless. You did. Yeah, but then, you know, you, you know, around that time, you came out with your, I'm like, Fruity Loops. 
Uh, ain't no fruity. fruity. <laughs> ain't nothing fruity. Fruit. Just fruit loop, huh? You hear me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to get that confused, huh? Smoke fruit, shawty tastes like fruit. You hear me? You don't want the fruity fruits to come yeah. around, yeah? No fruity. Fruit loops. <laughs> <Got you. laughs> I ain't say fruity pebbles. I say fruit loops. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you came up there something, you know, you yeah. just eating one day. Like, what happened? What happened? <laughs> you be juicing bad. Nah, um, <laughs> no, honestly, man. Fuck that whole week. Nigga had really ate Fruit Loops that morning, you heard me? And uh nigga had that crave. And then like on top of that, it wasn't nothing I was expecting to put in the song, dude. Uh once again, wildlife dropped that sick of being lonely. And uh one of my little people is like, Hollis, you really funny. Like in real life, you be Joseph and you need to really like show the people your personality some more. And so you know, yeah, that's how that Fruit Loops came about. Fuck. I really sat in the tub, man. Using the tub? I sat in the tub and wrote that verse and, and like. As we put a little webby up, it was just the bubbles and everything? <laughs> uh uh, I had the candle lit though, but it was morning. It was like a little morning. Yeah, I just be bobbing. Just go in a little creative space yeah. sometimes, you hear me? Fruit oh, loops. Cool. You know, we gotta say it right. Not fruity loops, fruit uh -uh, loops. Not, fr mm -mm. No, <laughs> not fruity pebbles, fruit loops. You hear me? So, like, you know, when but, you came up with the song and you saw that song have like a lot of, I'm like, success. Did you like think about like man? I'm about to start brands. I'm trying to you know, I'm trying to deal with cereal box everything like that. Well, honestly, I ain't even know that shit was gonna bring as much as success it brought, man. But I hit D Day up. I was like, man, look, shout out D Day. I hit D Day up like, look, I need to uh, I want to do a bounce record, and he was more than interested to make the beat, and we linked up ASAP, and uh, and then like the name of the song was called like I used to when we left out the studio. And uh, I actually sent it over to Young Guap. Shout out to Young Guap. And he called me. He like, hey, I listened to this record. I'm making a cover. I think you should change the record to Fruit Loops, not like I used to. And I was like, you know me. Fucking right. Let's do it. And that's what we did. Huh? Yep. So Fruit Loops. I talked to a lot of big people, though, off this record, though. That's the, that's the shit crazy, though. Like, you know. So, like, you know, hey, but through the years and ups and downs of you, you know, making music, uh huh. You know, in this city, New Orleans is like a crazy city, you know, and they pick sides and everything like that. So, like, how do you right. feel about people be down here, like, you know, choosing sides and everything like that? Uh huh. Um, I feel like that comes with the territory. Like, you know, even in the NFL, they still have a team that's not the most liked. Like, you know, people going to gravitate who the fuck they won't gravitate to. Like, I just fuck with who fuck with me. And if you don't, fuck you. Huh? Simple as that. Real talk. <laughs> gotcha. So you know. Real talk though. I'm gonna bring them back but, for the but look, people but that look, oh. but look, I do wanna add this, this is what I know. See, it's so much better when we come together. Caesar, Caesar, and my big cousin Big Big got me to really see the big picture. I'm just saying, like, just say it's a hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? But when but when there's a lot of chaos, it, it causes the people to fucking divide. So now fifty here, fifty here. See what I'm saying? That hundred is split now. You're really fucking the business up. You know what I mean? Like I tell rappers, you know, I just live with a lot of people. You know, this city, everybody ain't meant to get along, but I tell people, Facts. don't mess the money up. Facts. Don't mess the money up. Like, even if you don't get along, because like, nine times out of ten, it don't really be the rappers. It be their friends be beefing. Real tough. And it be, be kind of like making them can't be in the same rooms. But I'm like, how y'all expect to have like award shows and different things like that if y'all messing everything up? That would be. It's a baby man. Baby that is in this bitch. <laughs> Yeah, you know, for the people, I know we got the, you know, oh, we got baby, we got baby Darren in the background, know the team. So, we you know, zine. Daniel Harlow was just talking about if the difference from, if the West Bank of New Orleans and the city of New Orleans, they like, before he start, you know, they got a brand new saying, now nah, it's the West Side of New Orleans. Because, you know, every time I put that on Nola Zine, Hey boy, they were like, what is the West Side? They trying to play on. Hey, yeah, hey, that's what we started calling it, you did. Like, man, you know. Is it the West Side though? West Bank and West Side, that's the same thing. You know, just switching it, you know? Like, the internet's showing like, everything that you was talking with your morals, it don't matter to the internet. The internet's holding the world. Yeah, that's why I'm, you know, suburban baby. I don't do no street shit, I just do music. And that's the way to stay out the way? It's the best way to be. <laughs> gotcha. And so where you see your music career going, like three years from now? 
three years from now, man, I'm gonna be bigger than ever. Fucking larger than life. You know what I mean? Bigger than Diddy? Number one. <laughs> <laughs> leave, 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 leave Pup out this bag. Real yeah, talk. Right there. Real talk. <laughs> 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 Leave him out here, no do. But I really, I really see us on top. Me, all my artists, you know what I'm saying. We building this shit, and we gonna run the game. You hear me? It's all the way up. Forever Hollers Entertainment. Shout out Create. Gotcha. So you know, just even give one society the label. Uh, even, even to give one like spotlight on music producers. Who are your top music producers right now coming out the city of New Orleans? Um, damn, I like a lot of the producers though. But um, I definitely uh, I like I like Cam Cartes a lot. He got a nice song. I like Didi a lot. Um, who else? Uh, Beast by Nell for sure. Fucking KC. Um, fucking Abby. Abby, out his mind with the shit. That was five though. It's plenty more though. I'll keep going, but you know, yeah. I ain't, I'm gonna forget people, so I just gave you five. Everybody gonna be mad, huh? Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm just keeping it, Gito. You know, that was just off the head. So tell us, Ebony, like, what's next for you? Um, what's next, man? Me and D Day about to drop this project called um, Broken Hearts and Champagne Glasses, so y'all stay tuned for that. I also got some fire ass singles about to drop, and we're gonna just finish the full quarter strong. You know, Mamba mentality. And um, last but not least, tell the world on like what can they find on social media and on Ever Wells. Um, you can find me Daniel Hless. You hear me? The H is short for heart, so it's Daniel Hless. You hear me? Ever well, Twitter, Instagram, man. Daniel Hollis on all platforms. Hollis gang, good on bank. TSR.